had some technology challenges. Bear with us as we do, um, we bring you these. But this is welcome to another edition of Hanging Out with Mike and Alex. My name is Mike Rennick. I'm with Alex Beckman here. So you have a the old man baby boomer and the young man, the uh, millennial here. So we share different perspectives sometimes. But Alex, where are we at today? We are sitting in lovely downtown Sarasota at, in front of the Unconditional Surrender statue, which I will show everybody. Mike has some good information he's going to share with everyone today. So there's a statue. And uh, the whole purpose of this is so we can forget about our trials and tribulations with the virus. You know, everybody's life has been upended. Things are different today. I think I can say that almost 100% across the board. So instead of talking about those kind of challenges on this show, we just want to show different aspects of Sarasota, Bradington, and all the island property. So everyone has heard of the Unconditional Surrender statue. I've been here many, many times, but I found some things I didn't realize. So I'll give you some uh, background information. In 2005, Seward Johnson, he built the first life-size bronze precursor to the huge statues of Unconditional Surrender. He did it using computer technology. He built a 25-foot, 7.6 meter tall styrofoam version of the work. Like now. He proceeded with the manufacture of aluminum versions of the 25 foot tall statue, marketing them through a foundation that he had created. He offered copies ranging from $501.14 million for bronze. He established a sculpture foundation to disseminate his work. After being ex the flatbed truck, I actually have seen the current version of the statue in San Diego last year. So that's cool. The uh, second place to exhibit the unconditional surrender was in Tuna Harbor, so installed one temporary one in 2007. That statue was made of foam core with the urethane and other later. Anyway, let's bring it back to the current. 2009, the statue returned to Sarasota. Interest in a revisit to Sarasota was cultivated by the director of a Bayfront biannual show. An aluminum copy would place the Bayfront again temporarily. An 88-year-old donor who served in the U.S. Navy during World War II offered to pay a half a million dollars uh, for it against the initial asking price. So that's where we sit today without going into more detail on the history and stuff. There's a lot of meaning. When you ask different people what the meaning is to them, it has a lot of personal meaning. So this is one of the many fine attributes of Sarasota. So Alex will uh, share a little bit about what we're looking at and what we're showing the folks on the live screen. Yes, we are. we'll get a nice little close up of the statue for everybody. This is, I would say, what do you say, Mike? I'd say this is the most popular tourist attraction in the in Sarasota in terms yeah. of seeing folks here physically, you know? Anyone moving through Sarasota pretty much drives by here. This is right off US 41 in Tamiami. Yes, sir. Just before the entrance to Main Street. So we're right on the outskirts of downtown. And it's just a nice area to drive by and, and look around. You see all kinds of tourists who stopped and are taking pictures of the statue. So we thought we'd pick this location tonight just to show more beautiful aspects of this great city. Alex, of course, is our licensed drone pilot. We are in full compliant with the governor's orders. We are at least six feet apart. Both of us are wearing masks. His mask protects me and my mask protects him. That is true. So we're getting a good close-up of the statue right now? Yes, beautiful shot. Oh, that was perfect for everybody. Some birds flew by. Excellent. The weather was a little hot today, but it's it's it is very very nice right now. Nice little breeze. I'd say it's about 80 degrees. This is definitely the weatherman tonight was saying this is really um, August, July and August weather. We we've, we've had um, in fact last night i believe it set a record for a low the low was 72 degrees or 78 degrees i think so it, it's been warm a couple of days but it's just a beautiful night to hang out here so what are you showing them now we're going to just show everyone just the location of where we're at where the statue is in comparison we're looking at uh the ringling bridge right now during sunset so is this a fair statement we probably, with the drone, can't show much of Sarasota or Bradenton without showing water of some kind. 
I would have to agree with you on that. We are uh, we are surrounded by a lot of water. That's what one of the positive attributes are of this. There's a beautiful golden, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a golden haze over the water oh, like right the, now. the sun there. With Alex and I being um, a little over six feet apart, I'm not seeing the screen in real time. Come back around here, you can see all the boats being lit up by that beautiful sun, that beautiful glow. What we in the uh, film industry call golden hour, where everything is perfectly lit. It's just beautiful out here tonight. It's just nice sunny here. There's a fair amount of traffic going by, but there's not a lot of walkers out here tonight. I think there was a blurb that I captured. There actually was an accident a couple of years ago with a statue, and I think I've got that. A once usually very busy Bayfront Park is almost barren, as you can see. There is not, not many people at all. There's one or two people riding their bike, but it seems like everyone is adhering to the stay-at-home order, which is good. Let me give a little more history. Gee, gee whiz, it's been eight years. An automobile crash occurred on April 26, 2012, during which a Sarasota copy of the statue was struck by a vehicle and was damaged. The impact knocked about a three-foot-wide hole out of the sailor's foot and it added more hairline cracks to its frame. This led to the statue being taken down by the city, which laid the statue on its side, close to the site, while insurance companies negotiated over liability. But to make a long story short, the statue was, was hauled away, fixed, and brought back, and that's what you see today. So someone actually hit this poor statue, huh? Yes. Wow. And it's quite a ways off the road, so someone didn't maneuver a, a curve or a car pulled out in front of another car that pushed it off the road or something like that. Oh, interesting little buggy out. I was watching that. So I give everyone a little sneak peek over here, over these buildings, to where Mike and I's uh, left, which would be right in front of you guys. They are... Uh, showing downtown yeah the the roundabout that they're working on I won't show too much because I want to leave it for the video that we that we have coming out shortly probably tomorrow but uh, as you can see in the distance there we have a, a new roundabout downtown freshly paved so this is just a beautiful part of the country and, and we will get a chance to enjoy this back like our lives used to be I mean Sarasota Bradington the county of Sarasota, the county of Manatee, all the island properties that are included in those two counties. It's an amazing place to live and work and play. Right in front of us here, we have the Westin rooftop bar with the pool in the background. I bet we could get a good seat up there tonight without a reservation. Oh, absolutely. It's closed. <laughs> pool still open to residents. Okay. And in the distance that we're going over here, we have the new development downtown, which is called the Quay. Mike, you probably know a little bit more about that yes, than I've I do. Yes, I've shown properties in the Quay. Uh, it's looking to be absolutely beautiful. This, this is just, it's a, Sarasota is a small town with a big town of ambiance, if you would. I like the culture, the arts, the ability to walk, ride a bicycle, to golf to fish, to swim, to boat. And we're not far away from Tampa, Orlando, or Miami, if you want to venture out. Just a beautiful night. What are we looking at now, Alex? We're going back towards us while we're looking down at the roundabout. We're gonna get a nice little pan view of the Quay, the Westin, And just a nice, beautiful shot of downtown Sarasota, Main Street. We, I know this is our third time trying to get this right. We've had some problems, but tonight turns out to be a really nice night to go live with this. Absolutely. It, it, everything is working perfectly. There's been some updates with Facebook Live and, and the app that we use to, to bring this to you guys. So we appreciate your patience as we work through some uh, unprecedented bugs. But that's with technology, you know, that comes with it. So. 
we can work hard and do our best, and sometimes the uh, gremlins get us. Right now I'm just getting a nice pan shot of the sunset crusting the bridge downtown. You know, this is my first time out for any extended time today. It's good to get out and obviously, you know, adhering to the social distancing rules, but they encourage people to get out, get some fresh air, so, stretch your legs. Let me tell you an embarrassing thing from a baby boomer aspect, and I'm going to ask you to share something from a millennial. So for the first time ever yesterday, I binge watched Netflix from 8 a.m. till 10 o'clock at night. Oh, man. I didn't even shower or comb my hair or anything like that. I got hooked on a program. I'm not going to share what it was. but So that's how an old man spent Easter Sunday. What did you end up doing, Alex? Oh, I did some, some housework. Uh, my sister and I made some, some nice lunch together, and uh, we just kind of had a nice, relaxed day it was it was very nice uh my my close family's not here in florida unfortunately but you know it was good to talk to them on the phone and and it ended up just being a nice relaxed day i did some netflix watching too actually <laughs> seems like that was the common I, I have never spent the entire day there was some catch-up i wanted to do work-wise behind the scenes just to get caught up and uh that didn't happen until today what we're looking at right now everybody is is uh, marina jack all the boats obviously docked here. Um, Hankin wants to know what show on Netflix. I'm not tell I'm not telling you, Michael. You owe me a text message. There you go, Mike. If you want to know, you gotta sh you gotta reach out personally. There's a lot of good shows on Netflix. I give them props for keeping everybody uh, supplied with content during these times. It's some of the best out there. I gotta tell you. Yeah, they have a lot of good series. I know that. Probably a couple people in the audience have seen that Tiger King show. That's a very popular one. He sent me a text. <laughs> Ozark. Ozark's another great show. That's been advertised a lot. There's this very interesting haze over the city, but it's making for some very beautiful shots, everybody. Getting a lot of text messages. I want to show it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, I agree, Hank and Ozark is absolutely awesome. That wasn't the one though. It is a very addictive show. So what are we looking at right now? Uh, let's see. I don't oh, that's a beautiful shot. Yes. You look like you've done this before once or twice. Yeah, a couple of times. Couple of times. That's beautiful. It is a very nice night to be out here. I forget what this island is called. Florida? No, 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 this little one, uh, very funny. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> got me, got me. <laughs> Which, we did a video so here, hang I forget on. what I, it is. I got you more than you think. Florida is a peninsula, it's not an island. That's true. Right, yeah. which, which island are we talking about? Where St. Armand Circle is? Yeah, the, this one, the, the little, uh, where we did the video with, um, with actually Mr. Hankin on the new development. Um, that's just before Lido. I don't know. I'd have to check it. That's a good point. That's going out uh, up to the Ringling on the way out to uh, St. Armand Circle. Yes, sir. Boy, you got a beautiful shot on the screen. Yeah, we're... How are we doing on battery time? Getting a little close. Got a couple of minutes left here. Okay. You've got some good shots. People get a feel for what the city's like tonight. Golden Gate Point. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Michael, you still owe me a, a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to let you live that D one down. During the day when I'm kind of looking for something to do, I text a lot of my friends that says I'm bored. So he got one of those texts today. I got one of those texts today, I know too. You did. <laughs> I have to be careful because when I send them to certain people, they give me assignments. Do 
you gonna bring her back in or are we okay? We're okay, we got about another two, three minutes of live time, so just bring her around here for everybody one more time. Mr. Hankin is calling, I'll call him back after the show. <laughs> He's still at work. That's not a good sign. You comfortable bringing him home? <laughs> another another cool feature that we offer here in Sarasota is uh, a lot of people own boats, but a lot of people do boat clubs, which is a very cool take on a way to you know get on on the water and enjoy the lifestyle that we have to offer here, without you know, going into the entire expense of owning a boat. So essentially, you pay a monthly fee and they come down here, give them all your stuff, hop right in a boat, and they give you the keys and you're off. You know, obviously you do have to have your boating license and and everything, but it's an interesting take on the water lifestyle. I'm going to give everybody one last little pan around here, and we're just almost about out of battery. What a beautiful night, Alex. It is a gorgeous night. All right, everybody. I'm getting the, the warning here, so we'll leave everybody with this nice, pretty shot of the sunset right on the water. Our goal is to bring you uh, live around this time, maybe two, three nights a week, when different things are happening. So I want to thank everybody watching live. I want to thank everyone that makes you the recording on this. We truly appreciate it. Hopefully it gives you a few minutes to take your mind off of everything that we face throughout the day. Good night, Mr. Hankin. We appreciate it. I'm going to give you a phone call in a second, Michael. And we appreciate everybody tuning in, and we'll see you next time on the next edition of Hanging Out with Mike and Alex. Take care, everyone.